My name is Muhumuza Moses Fisher, an orthopedic surgeon at Kosu Hospital in Uganda and co-team lead of the Italo project. Italo stands for Education to Advance Limb Saving Options for Osteomyelitis and Open Fractures. Our multidisciplinary team's goal is to improve treatment of open fractures and osteomyelitis, which are sources of significant surgical burden and disability globally. In many resource-limited settings, there is insufficient access to surgical care and a lack of orthopedic surgeons. So often, medical officers and general surgeons are the first line of defense in treating patients with limb-threatening conditions. Drilling bone is a necessary skill for the management of fractures and infection. When medical providers who don't have the basic orthopedic training are confronted with such patients in their district or rural hospitals, they are not often comfortable in providing the necessary care. Our Italo bone drilling simulator model attempts to solve this gap in training, competence, and confidence. The main audience for our innovative drill down curriculum is medical students, medical officers working in the community, and general surgeons in areas without the available orthopedic surgeon. Our simulator is a layered model built with locally available and affordable materials. We offer instruction on both simple and advanced simulators and we developed a matrix of material options for each of the layers that the learner can reference to when building their own simulator. One of the key components to our simulator is the plunge detector that alerts the learner if they have plunged too far into the soft tissues. We believe that the range of simulator options can be used for learners to practice and self-assess the mechanics of bone drilling with the eventual goal of performing this task successfully on humans. Our training video course includes simple background instructional materials, educational videos that explain the necessary information and skills and step-by-step -step instructions on building and using the simulator to learn the psychomotor skill of drilling bone. Having more practitioners in low middle income countries trained in bone drilling skills will result in more timely and improved better outcomes for the patients and less disability around the world.